Right, all right. Welcome back, YouTube. Want to take this moment, this part three of the Caprice LS swap. Want to thank all my subscribers there. We hit 100 subscribers there, and uh, we want to just keep that momentum going. I appreciate each and every one of you. This is the Caprice build part three. So we made some more progress on it. So we actually painted the uh, radiator core support top as well, black. Makes that look a lot better. Also, we got the AC and power steering, and not the AC, excuse me, there, the alternator and power steering bracket on there as well. This is actually a dual alternator bracket for the music there, so it's gonna have a second alternator on there as well. I'll take y'all up underneath so that way we can go ahead and um, I'll show you that that hole that you have to drill in a cross member to set back that uh, transmission mount about an inch and it fits in there perfectly. Waiting on the booster to come in, had to order the booster as well. So waiting on that to come in, I got a cross member, um, actually a radiator hold down there panel coming in and electric fans with the shroud as well. So waiting on that stuff to come in, just got the headers in. So we're making progress. So I'll get back with you in just a second as we're gonna go ahead and I'll take you up on there so that way you can see that cross member. All right, all right, so as you can see, that is your original hole right there for the cross member where the transmission mount goes into. You drill another one about an inch back and she lines up in there perfectly. So go ahead, while I'm down here, go ahead and put this on. And then I'll tighten it up a little bit later on, so I won't bore you guys. But just a second there, we'll jump back up there. I'll show you the installation of the headers on there, and we'll go from there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get these headers installed. I always, on my LS swaps, go ahead and use these Molly gaskets here. Part number... Y'all can see that part number. It's actually upside down. Part number there. But man, they're super good. Kind of like the originals there. No leaks there. Sometimes if you use those uh, graphite ones that come with most of the headers, man, they'll leak out on you over time. These here, you don't even have to worry about it. So we're gonna go ahead and get these, uh, go ahead and get these installed. can use a little anesthesia if you want to as well. some more bolts.
this side. Right, all right, so we're back. So we got this header installed here. Uh, we're about to go up underneath so that way we can go ahead and uh, I got to finish putting in the torque converter bolts. We'll try to get uh, some of that wiring done down there as well. I may even uh, hook up the starter down at the bottom as well. But I'll take y'all up under there so y'all can see all that. And then, uh, and yeah, we'll keep it going. I got some new spark plug wires I'm running this time too. They are Scott's. Spot pour up wires or LS's. So there they are from Summit Racing. And man, they look good. I'm gonna run them, see what they look like, and we're gonna see how they do. I'll check back with you in just a second. Right, right. So we got gas tank is out. And getting ready to go ahead and run this fuel system so that way we can go ahead and get ready to start firing this joker up. So, uh, yeah, so we're gonna have to cut these lines, got your fittings there, go some hard line into AM fittings. So, got those two 38s, 516s, so 516s, 38. So, we're gonna go ahead and get these old clamps off of there, <laughs> and they haven't been off there for a long time. But I'll check back with y'all, show y'all what that looked like in just a second. All right, so we back. Got them on there. Looks good. So now I get ready to start running lines and get this thing on in there. Right, right, we back. So got that fuel system pretty much, uh, it's going good. Both lines. Uh, hard line is in there to AM fittings. I got the supply side into the fuel pump with the 100 micron pre filter on there. So I'm finna get ready to put this bad boy back in there so that way I can finish running these lines. And then um, I'll know what I got to do for my return side there as well. And man, we cooking. So y'all stay tuned. Hold that thought, Burhard Motorsports will be right back. 
All right, all right, so we back again. Fuel system is done and wired all the way up to the front. Still working on that intake there. Uh, but yeah, man, we made some good progress today. Got the tank back up. All the lines are in there. Everything is tight. So uh, one step closer. I think this will probably, actually I'll go back up front and then I'll show you guys uh, the headers and everything like that. And then uh, show you what we got going on up there. All right, so, yo, so we got the headers in. Power steering is plumb. Just have to get a uh, cap there for that. Put a little hose clamp on there. And uh, get ready to put the plugs in, spark plugs in. And I'll go ahead and put the uh, power steering pulley on as well. Uh, got the condenser out. Just waiting on a new one to come in. And yeah, man, we cooking. I think this will probably close out this video of uh, part three, uh, the Caprice LS swap. Kind of got the uh, transmission dipstick mocked up as well. And uh, yeah, man, we, we, we cooking. Uh, so step four, we'll be back with you. All right, y'all, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Again, thanks to everybody who has subscribed there. We actually hit 100, over 100 subscribers. So welcome to the channel. Thank y'all for being loyal. More to come, spread the word, hit that thumbs up, and also just share that video so that way we get more subscribers. So keep these builds going and I'll get y'all some more content. All right, so y'all check back with me. Burnhard Motorsports, we checking out.